In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Linktree to connect your customers to your Author Central pages. Welcome to Wombat Coaching. My name is Neil. Let's get started. In my last video, I showed you how to create a simple web page using Google Sites to connect to your Author Central pages. In this video, I'm going to show you a simpler way using Linktree. So let's go to Linktree, which is L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. -E. When we go to this website, we can claim our brand name, and that'll be the name that you use in your Author Central pages. In my case, I use Kangaroo Stew Publishing, just for an example. I've already uh, logged in with these details, but if you haven't used Linktree already, you can claim your brand name here and then sign in. And you can sign in directly using your existing Google account, or you can sign up with another email. Once you're logged in, you can start creating a linked site uh, to be used on a mobile or web. To start with, we're going to add a text header. This will just be a headline, and this will be about how books are published on Amazon. Now that appears on the right-hand side as you type, and now we're going to add a link to our Author Central pages. And I'll start with the US Author Central page, and I'll just use the Amazon URL for this exercise because I don't have an Author Central page set up for my Kangaroo Stew Publishing. So this is just to show you how it works. And then we'll put in the title. And in this case, this will be Amazon US site. Now you can call this what you like. I'm just using Amazon US, just so you can see what sites I'm referring to. And we'll repeat this also for the UK, put in the URL for Amazon UK, and again I'll put the title in for the UK as Amazon UK. Now this populates on the right hand side as you can see and I'll do one more I'll do Australia again just like I did with the Google Sites demonstration so now we have three sites set up we can add more as we need them and as you can see they're on the right hand side here and we can actually move our header up to the top as well as move our links around in what, to whatever order we would like them in. So we do US, UK and Australia. And now they appear that way on the, on the view on the right hand side there on the little mobile phone. Now there are some icons that have, have come across so we're going to remove them. They're little thumbnails that have come across by typing in the Amazon URL. The UK doesn't appear to have one. But the Australian site is also a pulled one across so we'll remove that as well that takes that away from the site you can put your own custom little thumbnails in here if you want to there's no need all right let's just close these all right now we're going to look at changing our appearance And here we can change that uh, that tag name up the top there to a full name. So I'm going to type in kangaroo kangaroo stew publishing here, and that'll appear as three words rather than just a a nickname. Kangaroo stew publishing, and in the bio you can use 80 characters to write something here. 
something here that will just give a brief description of what this Linktree site or link is all about. You don't have a lot of uh, characters available, so you can't write too much. It's not like the bio you could write on Google Sites. You could write a lot more using that. All right, can't be more than 80 characters. It even tells you. Okay, so that's come across on the right-hand side there. We can also add social icons here as well. So all our social linked accounts, which we should be using the same brand name for, they can also be added to this link tree. And all the sites are available. As you can see, it's alphabetically listed here. And if you can't find them, you can actually search for each social link that you are looking for. All the main ones are here. Even, uh, even TikTok and uh, YouTube. Now, there are a lot of extra items here, but these are only for the paid account. You'll see the padlock on the right-hand side. So there are extra features available with Linktree, but for what we're going to use it for, we don't need these features. However, we would like to change from a bit of a dull-looking blue to something a little bit more exciting. And here, we can go down and choose a different background. And many of these are locked again because they're part of the Pro version. Uh, we don't need to um, upgrade to the Pro version just to change our backgrounds. There are some free backgrounds here we can uh, use. We'll just try this one. It does populate on the right hand side, gives you a preview. And there are a few others you can choose from here. We'll pick, pick this one here down the bottom. A little bit different. And now that uh, appears also in the preview, preview phone on the right side there. You can customise them as well, change the backgrounds, uh, shapes and, and uh, styles, change your fonts, and uh, pretty much you can customise it to your own look and feel. Once we're happy with the appearance, we can share uh, our Linktree uh, URL on our social media accounts and through our email, etc. And this is how it will look on a web page. If somebody is going from Facebook or Instagram and they're using a computer, they'll still be able to see the links. It's not just for mobile phone use, it does work on any device, any PC, laptop, or tablet device. And on our websites, it provides the same links you would see on mobile to Author Central in those countries that are supported. Now, one thing you can't do with Linktree is substitute the link URL with a domain name. You can, however, use your domain name and forward it to the Linktree URL. What you see there as the URL is what you are stuck with. You can't change that. So it's going to be a Linktree forward slash and then your brand name. But like I said, you can forward your domain to this address and that way... It's a seamless connection then to this app. It works well on mobile and it does work fine on a PC. Choosing between Linktree and Google Sites, I would choose Google Sites as there are more options to customise and provide a better experience. Your domain name can be assigned to Google Sites, which looks more professional. As you can see, Linktree is fairly easy to set up and I hope I have provided you with a short demonstration to assist you if you're having any difficulties. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.